Questions and comments. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Government House Leader. Yes, thank you, uh, Madam Speaker. Um, I, I get it. Uh, the member personally doesn't like the uh, Prime Minister. Um, and if you listen to uh, what, what it is uh, that uh, she's talking about, she's using the issue of so-called uh, corruption or scandals as a way to express a great deal of frustration that the member has towards, uh, towards the Prime Minister. But let me remind the member that Stephen Harper, and I made reference to this earlier today, when you talk about scandals, uh, Stephen Harper and the Conservative government takes it by a country mile. We can talk about the anti-terrorism scandal, we can talk about the Phoenix scandal, the G8 spending scandal, the e, uh, ETS scandal, the F-35 scandal, the Senate scandal, the multiple election uh, scandals. These are all things in which her holier-than-thou Conservative Party, with their leader, Stephen Harper, were deeply engaged in. And unfortunately, it wasn't until the latter couple of years that Stephen Harper actually came up with the Ethics Commissioner because he was so pathetic when he was the Prime Minister that he had to try to justify that he can't, does have ethics. And that's one of the reasons why he brought it into place a couple of years before he actually left, or I should say he was kicked out of office. I'm wondering if she has any thoughts in terms of how unethical the Conservative government was, and how the Stephen Harper drove the economy, in particular our manufacturing industry, into the economy, and so many other things that motivated Canadians to kick Stephen Harper out of office. The Honourable Member for Yorkton Melville. Thank you, Madam Speaker. You know, I, I'm a mom, I'm a dad. and I'm a grandma. I'm a it's awesome, isn't it? It is. But you know what? I can guarantee that everyone in this house that when one of my kids was out of line, I didn't let them try and redirect because this government is in power. And I can assure the member across the floor, every Canadian is hypersensitive now and hyper aware to the shenanigans of this government. I know that in this place that we can't say that people lie. I, I still, I think that is the one thing that we can, we will never truly represent Canadians in this place when that is allowed. And to the extent that it happens, it means that debate, debate in this house is not real. And what came out of that member's mouth was not accurate. But what they are doing clearly is because they are before their own speaker. They are being challenged by the RCMP left and right and being investigated because they are doing things untruthfully. When you can stand in this place and say those things, I know that it is just reinforcing in the hearts and minds of Canadians that this Liberal government has got to go. The Honourable Member for Saint Jean. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I thank my colleague for the speech. There was a request that documents be given to the RCMP, but the RCMP has the ability to seek information and receive it if it wishes in the context of investigations. But this House only has power through the chair or through the recommendations of committees. The role that we have as opposition MPs is different from the role of the RCMP. Our role is to hold the government to account. Our role is to get information for the public. But our role is different from anything in a criminal context where the RCMP could be involved. So could my colleague speak about the importance of political parties in the House and also about the fact that the government is not currently giving us what we need in order to do our role properly? Yes, we have the privilege and the responsibility in this place to call for those documents, to demand those documents. And that is what we are doing here in requiring this government to stop digging in its heels and pretend that they don't have to respond the way that every other government has needed to respond in these kinds of circumstances. I'm sorry, but there's no way that we should ever let up on them being required to do what they have been demanded to do by this House. 